Hello, Megan and Mrs. Hall. Um, can you tell me um, why it is that you chose to come to Bremont all those years ago? What it is that you liked about the school, which made you feel it would be a good fit? Do you want to start? Because you have the background story. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, first of all, Megan was very unhappy in a previous school, which was a local school here. Um, we decided to make the leap into an international system and asked around a few friends and a couple of friends had got children at ISL, some here, uh, some at Champité. Mm -hmm. So we decided we go, we plumped for the two, Champité and here, yeah. and decided to go on a day trial for both schools. But as soon as Megan set foot in here, she didn't want to go anywhere else. She said she <laughs> felt she was at home, it felt like family. Yeah. So. I just didn't, yeah. I said you can cancel the trip to Champagne because <laughs> I just said I'm very, even if it's a good place, I met Madame Bonetti uh -huh. as soon as I walked through the door uh -huh. and straight away I was just like, this is a second home uh -huh. and I don't, I, this is where I want to be. So that's basically how it happened, yeah. And how is it for you as a day student being in a boarding school? It's... What I like about it is it's a totally different dynamic compared to when I was in uh, Swiss school. All of my friends were day students. We all came into school um, and we all went home at the end of the day. And the difference here is is that it's a bit more inclusive. And what I like about it is the fact that when I walk through the door at the beginning of the day, I see sort of other people's way of doing things because they live here it's totally different to me but what's so nice about it as well is if I work late in the library to do some work I won't be all by myself there's a load of life in here all the time because it's where they live and it's nice to be able to see a different person's perspective of a school day and I enjoy it personally yeah I think you give something back to the school in that respect as well because you have a life outside school yeah uh, and the uh, the other guys that are here are all part of this family, which is beautiful, which is great, yeah. but you've got a life outside school. Yeah. And it's like when you've been baking and that I've done and things like that, they yeah. enjoy that as well. Yeah. It's getting something of a family environment as well. Yeah, you? no, it's good. It's, it's a bit, it's nice to have different types of people, I think, within the school. It makes it, like I said, it adds to the dynamic of it, yeah. And you do join in school life a lot, don't you? I mean, yeah. Uh, the boundary for you is perhaps not, you know, it's quite seamless maybe between boarding and day because you do participate a lot in school activities, don't you? Tell yeah. me about some of the activities that you've been on. Oh, I've done a lot. <laughs> um, I, well, the first thing I sort of immersed myself into when I came to school was that I wanted to do all of the after school clubs possible. So I signed up to cooking club, dance club, MUN, which I'm still a part of. Um, I signed up to tennis. Drama. Drama. <laughs> I, I've done quite a lot, but um, and now I do kickboxing, and obviously because I'm in my A level year, there's a lot, sort of I can do a lot less because mm -hmm. I have to focus more on my studies than when I first arrived, but um, I think that it's important to join in to all the different activities that BM offers because it's unique in that way. Like I don't think there's many other schools that would offer so many activities, and. Um, also, when I'd do them, I'd get to know a lot of boarders. A lot of friends of mine who are boarders, who I'm not in classes with, are because I met them through a club or mm -hmm. through an after-school activity. So, yeah, I think that BM has a wide range of those, and I think it's important. I think with the house events as well. That's yeah, the house, house events, because yeah. that helps you integrate when you meet all the other children at yeah. school. So. Mm. And um, you've, uh, so now you're getting towards the end of your Bream life. What are your plans for afterwards? So my plans are to uh, go to uni in the UK. Um, much, as much as I'm going to miss my mum <laughs> and my dad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go off to the UK hopefully and I want to go and study international relations and politics. Uh, one of the courses I've applied to uh, also encompasses global sustainable development. So anything along those lines, yeah, that's what I want to do. And how has Briamont helped shape that choice of future study? Because I know that you've done MUN. Um, yeah. Tell me about some of the things that you've done that have influenced your choice of future study oh, path. I mean, before I came to BM, I know a few degree, but I don't think I ever thought about doing something like IR in politics. It wasn't really 
um, ingrained in me to do it. But because uh, initially, when I was younger, I always wanted to go in, to a drama school because okay. I always wanted to do theatre. Um, but then when I came to BM, I think that it brought out my academic side that wasn't that I didn't used to let shine when I was in um, Swiss public school. And because of that, it just made me feel like I had the opportunity to do a course like International Relations and Politics. I don't think I would have had the confidence before. No, did it? It brought out your confidence no end. Because you were very, you were never a shy child, but you were very in on yourself, you're very yeah. inward thinking, you you didn't think you could do something like this, no. you didn't have the confidence to, you wouldn't speak in front of people, no. you wouldn't get up and s- like you did it in Singapore or at the Hague in the MUN to, mm-hmm. to debate with people, I no, think it, I'm, I'm in awe of that because I can't do <laughs> still to this day, but I think it's magnificent and it, they really, I think it's the, it's the nurturing atmosphere here at BM and how they helped you yeah. build your confidence through academics study yeah. as well because they've shown you that you're actually capable of doing that mm-hmm. I think it's and giving the you the tools to do it no exactly I think it's sort of like it gave me the building blocks to be able to do something like higher on politics like specifically I'd say MUN because of it's so like a lot of people probably would be a bit like afraid to do it at first because I was but once you go and do it you just get like this this feeling that you want to do it again and again and that's totally what I got and I think it sort of made me realise that the world of politics isn't boring at least not in my (laughs) opinion I think it's so diverse and I think in our day and age it's so important to immerse yourself in it because it's our futures so I think it's so important to take a vested interest in it and that's why I want to do it in particular yeah fantastic do you have anything else that you'd like to comment about your time at BM? The teachers. Okay, tell me about teachers. Yeah, um, I mean, it it really is, like, totally different to anything else you could get, honestly, in terms of teachers here. I think you noticed it straight away. In comparison, it's just all of my teachers, um, to name just a few, from Mr McLean to Mr Tong to Mr Junor, anybody who's Mr Kennedy who helped me actually enjoy math when I thought I had a deep hatred for it all (laughs) of my life um but I mean just in general the teachers are so nurturing and so positive and I think that that's what I wasn't getting at my old school because of a lot of the time it was don't ask questions sit down be quiet and here of course there's rules but you're made to feel as though you're on a Like, you've always meant to feel like you're an adult in the situation, and if you show maturity, you'll get the respect back, and I think that's really important. So, ever since I came to BM, I felt like I had this respect from the teacher, which I'd never had before in my old school. And I think, in general, just the lengths they go to, staying after school till seven to make me understand the concept that I couldn't get, or just being able to just have a talk with me just to tell me how well I'm doing when I've been feeling low. Like, it's so unique to Bria Moore, I think. The support is is immense. And it's very individualised as well. Yeah. Like, Mr McLean knows exactly how to get you to do better work Mm -hmm. by making you do less work and and (laughs) less stressed. Yeah. It's it's very individualised. Yeah, it is. Which, when you first got here, you were so, you felt so downtrodden, you didn't ask a question in class, Mm -hmm. and they encourage you to ask, don't worry if it's wrong. It's, that's Mm -hmm. the, that's the thing, because before you were ridiculed if you asked a question and if you didn't understand something. No, definitely. Whereas at Bria Moore, always, you've been encouraged to ask questions Mm -hmm. Uh, and work through problems instead of sitting quietly in class it's nice to have that encouragement and even the teachers who don't teach me just crossing them in the halls every day and having Mm -hmm. a chat just because of they're there and it's so nice and it's just so individual to be at I think yeah definitely fantastic thank you it's really moving what you said (laughs) 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 and we are lucky because you have been an absolutely fantastic student who's given so much back to the school so uh, (laughs) So we really do wish you every success oh, and hope that you, you reach those objectives because we're with you all the way. So Aww. thank you. Thank, thank you, you so to both much. of you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you.
down comments. I think as well, for us, we know when you were talking about your teachers, it's like everyone yeah. you know comes back. Mm. They'll come back for a visit, but they come back to school even when they've left and have got jobs or are in yeah. university. And I think it's going to be a contact that you will always have. Yeah, definitely. You always want that link. Not going to get rid of me. Exactly. I'm going to be back all the time. <laughs> That's good <Yeah>. to know. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank You're you. <laughs>